Oh, oh, what a way to start the video, right? Hey, what's up, everybody? Said the Nerdy Mark here. Welcome to another episode of Riding Shotgun. Uh, yes, I do have work today. It is Sunday, and because I took the July 4th off, they're having me work on Sunday. So, whatever, right? It is what it is. Um, so, I really don't have much to talk about. Oh, yeah, I do. I mean, so, um, this weekend, I actually um, met with someone oh, for lunch, and they were talking about helping me get a job at their company. So, th that, that went well. It was good. I actually had a couple of beers, too, over there with them. So, that was, uh, that was good. I'm just trying to straighten the camera, sorry. Um, you know, I watched, uh, some really good, a good Indian movie. Um, uh, it's called Vikram. If anyone's interested, go check it out. It's a really good movie. I've actually been thinking, when I get back to editing videos, you know, a lot of Indian films now, they're all, like, kind of doing, like, these pan-Indian releases, which means it doesn't matter what language the movie's in, it's gonna, like, they dub it right then and there and release it in every single language like right off like you know on the same day so it's not like you know for example you know how like in you know for an english movie sometimes you know like uh, maybe a couple of weeks later they'll release it in in china you know in with a chinese dub or they'll release it in um you know in japanese what have you uh we're not doing that's the thing indian movies they, they're starting to just release it across India in multiple languages. That's become the new trend now for for Indian films. Um, but before I get into that, I wanted to just talk a little bit more. So about this job uh, per thing. And, and so the lunch went really well. Um, I think you know the gentleman, the person that I was talking to, they were a very um, they were really cool. They were really just super chill. They were actually, they're actually former military, which was awesome. So I thank them for their service. Um, you know, I feel like, I feel like, you know, there, there has to, you know, I, I do have a feeling that I'm getting closer to finally getting a, a job that I actually want to do and a job that I don't, that makes me feel like, you know, I'm helping others and oh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> oh. oh, actually, you know what? It's fine. Yeah, anyway, sorry. I was actually going towards the highway. You know what? You know what? No, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn around. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna, I was going towards the highway, but you know, I decided I'm gonna just go the regular way, the scenic route, I guess. <laughs> but, no, no, no worries. Uh, it's not a big deal. It's just a couple of minutes more. Um, I literally, uh, so, you know, I think that this job, it may come through. I know I, I feel like I left a good impression on them. I did, I did pick up the check. So that was something that I did. Um, so that I could, you know, have them be like, oh yeah, okay, no problem. Thank you very much. I mean, not, not because I wanted them to owe me a favor. Just, you know, out of courtesy, it's always good to at least offer to pick up the check. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just one of those things. So, oh, excuse me. So, um, I hope, I'm just praying that this all works out and, and you know, I get closer to finding, you know, the job that I'm looking for. Um, we'll see we'll see but that's the thing you know you can't hurry these things these things do take time but you also have to put in the work um, so, and again when I say you I'm talking about me as well you know I'm not just saying you do it because I'm because I'm your because I'm your daddy you know I'm not I'm not your daddy I'm not your mom I'm not anything you know I'm just a guy who has observed certain things and I want to share them share my observations um you know take it or leave it i guess um not not in that sense i'm just saying you know just take it uh how how you will you know but anyway 
Um, yeah, but uh, I'm just very much looking forward to the potential of finally securing employment um, at, at a place that I actually want to work at. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, um, I, I think also uh, next week is my birthday. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm actually turning 30. For those who don't know, I'm, I'm going to be 30 years old. So it's very, very imperative now that I start really taking care of my health. Um, not going to lie, my leg is kind of killing me today because I ran yesterday. And like, my, I don't know, maybe because I did stretch or whatever, but my leg, I, shit, I, I, and I have a full shift today. I have, I'm pretty much going to be there the whole day today at work. And, you know, I, I, I stand a lot over there. So that's going to be fun. So we shall see. Oh, man. See, like even, even like pumping the brake and putting my foot on the gas is kind of hurting. Um, I'm not going to lie. I, I saw, I sound like an old man. I sound like an old, I sound, I sound old, man. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm only 30, man. Come on. Not that old yet right anyway but i feel like now it is really time for me to start being more serious about health like this when i was in my 20s i'm telling you man i mean the reason i took care of my health whatever was because you know i wanted to look good i wanted to look all lean and ripped and shit and, and you know and hopefully i'd see a a lovely woman and i could rip my shirt off in front of her and you know she'd we do things after that, if you know what I mean. Um, no, but now it's just about, you know, being able to live <laughs> long because, you know, my metabolism is not going to be what it once was. You know, I, I saw that I, I definitely see that I'm gaining weight faster. Um, so I really need to be, be careful about what I'm eating, about what I'm doing. Um, you know, I feel like it's high time. It's funny. I don't know about women. But us guys, we seem to, you know, really want to do all these things when we're in our thirties. When we turn thirty, something just hits us. It just, it just does. It just something just hits. It's like, oh, you know what? We, need, I need to start taking better care of myself. <laughs> yeah, you know, guys like in their in their thirty, they, they turn thirty, they're like, oh shit, yeah, you know, I think it's time to, time that I do that anyway. But I feel like. <laughs> I feel like, you know, uh, that's, I mean, I, I definitely had been running since I was in college, but, you know, I didn't run as much. Um, so uh, now I don't run as much anymore, which like, I'm really thinking, I'm really thinking about getting a gym membership, but I want to wait till I actually have like a job that I can, uh, I mean, like I can afford one right now, but you know, I still want to wait until I can find a job that will allow me to finance it a little bit better um i mean i know gym memberships usually right now they're like ten dollars twenty dollars a month but do i really want to be spending ten dollars a month right now um with the with the pay that i'm getting is the question um so we'll see uh right now like i said i'm doing running you know just running push-ups sit-ups whatever well, not so much sit-ups, but just running, push-ups, squats, just body weight stuff right now. I'm probably thinking about, I'm probably going to think about getting, like, those those gymnastic rings so I can at least start doing something with it. I mean, even if it's, I mean, I know it's getting a little hot out here. I know it gets very hot out here, but maybe it's just time to, like, I think it's just time to, like, not use that as an excuse. That's what I was doing all these past few weeks using that as an excuse to not go outside and work out because i used to because i love going outside and working out i don't like being inside like a, a confined space that's why i didn't really that's why i mean not that i don't it's not that i don't care for gyms i just like going out and doing stuff um and i feel like once i get like those gymnastic rings or whatever um yeah is it gonna be harder for me to do absolutely but I, I want to at least be able to do regular stuff like push-ups and stuff and really challenge myself to do those um you know because i know i can do those uh the, the dive bomber push-ups or the hindu push-ups or the baby making push-ups whatever they're called you know the one where you kind of like basically you're a downward dog and you kind of go up and you 
come back like that. Uh, some people call it Hindu push-ups. Some people call it dive bomber. Some people call it, like I said, that's, that, those are the names that I've heard. It's Hindu push-ups, dive bomber push-ups, and baby making push-ups. Um, the last one is, is funny. But anyway, I mean, I, I can kind of see why they would say that, you know. Sorry, a lot of sexual references in this video. I apologize if that offends you. Um, actually, no, I don't apologize. I mean, if that offends you, like, come on, man. You know, just chill out. Anyways, or or woman, because, you know, if I say, come on, man, oh, what about the women? Anyways, uh, I don't want to get into that. Um, <laughs> so, um, right. And uh, what else was I trying to say? So yeah, but that's gonna be something that I really focus on going forward is, is track is really getting into health um, a lot more and health because health is very important. Because like I said, when you're in your 30s, your metabolism starts going down. You can't burn calories as well as you once did. It's just the progression of life, progression of age. Because we're all one step. Well, I don't want to get into. That. I don't want to talk all, have all doom and gloom. But you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what's going on. And also on my birthday, I'm getting a new. I'm getting a new laptop. So that's gonna be awesome. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm thinking once I get the new computer and I get it all set up, I might start just doing editing again. Maybe it'll give me like some sort of motivation to start editing videos again. Who knows? But that's the thing, I don't want to depend on outside factors to motivate me to do videos. But I'll be honest with you guys, yesterday, I didn't, for example, yesterday I didn't feel like running. I didn't feel like going out and, and, and going for a jog, but I did. But I did it anyway. You know, heat be damned, <laughs> right? Um, so I, I went out, but I went out for a run. I still did it and I felt really good afterwards. Yeah, I'm, I have a little pain on my leg, but you know what, it's okay. It's fine. I was I was really sore yesterday, but I but I got enough sleep today, so that was good. Um, so yeah, so I mean I'm not so I'm I'm good. I'm I'm okay, right? So that's one thing. Another thing I'm thinking about. Oh yeah, this is something I wanted to think about. I actually talked. I actually mentioned a little bit about this in my in in on my tweet on, on my Twitter. But I did put up a picture of a movie called Triple R, or R R R, and a lot of you did say that you would love to see a review for that. Um, I just might do it. I'm thinking as as I start going back into editing. But what I was trying to say is because because of these pan Indian movies, they're all coming out obviously all across India uh, in various different languages. And then eventually, they're coming onto streaming platforms. They're coming onto Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, even at some of them. Well, Hulu, technically. So, like, there's a so okay. So there is a streaming service called Hotstar. In India, they partnered with Disney Plus. So I guess if you use like an Indian, like a VPN, you can access it. But also, I think via Hulu, they also give a Hotstar bundle. So I remember we subscribed to that, and so I, so Hulu plus Hotstar we have that, um, and so um, because of that, we were able to watch that movie yesterday called Vikram, and that, by the way, was a really good movie. But see, that's the thing: all these Indian films, it's not like you know you have to go to like special theaters and watch them anymore. They're coming out on all these streaming platforms. So I feel like a lot of people, it, it, it's a, available to a wider audience, not just an Indian audience. People here in America, like, because I've been, I'm watching, because I saw a review of Triple R, I saw a review by an, by an American guy. I saw like a whole 30 minute review of it, um, by, done by an American. So it, it really doesn't matter anymore how you do it doesn't okay hold on all right this guy's trying to come into this lane all right fine fine come into the lane damn man just randomly go come in yeah just well at least he at least the man at least the man or woman at least they have their blinker on so there's that anyways but no i'm thinking about doing 
a lot because because a lot of because people have access to those movies now, and I feel like you know being a nerd doesn't just mean oh I like to read comic books or oh I like to watch or I like to watch anime or I like to play video games you know or of course you know I mean being a mark means you like wrestling that's that's there's no two ways around it but being a nerd doesn't necessarily mean I only like certain things being a nerd also means you know I like movies that's another thing I just like movies in general and there are a lot of movies that are not you know, comic book movies that um, I feel like should be talked about. So I'm thinking, once I start going back into video editing again, I'm thinking I'll start making more movie movie reviews of like pan Indian films um, because I do because there are a lot of good ones that I feel like people more people should watch. So I'm thinking about doing those. Um, I did watch uh, Thor: Love and Thunder, by the way. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking about... I'm probably... I might do a review of that. We'll see. Um, I mean... I'll just tell you this. TLDR, I, I didn't really like it. Just being frank with you. Um, I have my reasons, but I, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys. I'm going to go ahead and make like a... You know, kind of like what I do for all those reviews. Where I just sit down and do like one take and I edit it. I might do that, actually. I might just go ahead and do that. Because... I feel like that will take a little less time for me to film and edit. So I might just do that for the time being as well. So slowly get back into the, the editing videos instead of, you know, just automatically just going in and being like, oh, boom, we got to start doing a major production, you know. So obviously the fantasy booking videos, they're going to come back eventually. I actually, I actually have a good time doing those because... I like sitting down and writing out a story. I like sitting down and like, you know, writing out notes and thinking about what I want to do. Um, this is something that fun that I have, whether I, whether the the angle hits or not, you know. But you know, I'll be honest with you guys. So far, the favorite, my favorite fantasy booking video I've done so far was for Bray Wyatt. Um, I didn't. I liked the Cody Rhodes one. The Adam Cole one was good. I actually did like the AEW ROH Invasion that I booked. I don't mean to toot my own horn here, but the AEW ROH Invasion that I booked, I do like it. I just feel like there could have been more high stakes, and maybe I should have made that a two-parter, but then I remembered the Cody Rhodes heel turn uh, booking that I did and how that, like, took a lot out of me. And frankly, you know, that was... Um, and that's why I didn't want to do it as two parts just did it as one part um so uh, we'll see man besides that's probably not gonna happen for a while anyways so i mean some of the stuff that i talked about those parts are not in place like you know i originally thought cody rose was just gonna be around for a little bit but you know he's there for the long run so anyway um yeah so anyway uh but with that, you know, I think I've been talking too much. This has already gone way past like 10, 15 minutes. Is all we're, at. we're approaching the 19 minute mark. So before we get to 20, I'm going to end it here. So thank you all for watching um, another episode of Riding Shotgun. And I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.